Welcome to Storytime with Karen and Kevin. Today, I'll be reading from the subreddit r slash entitled people, where, yet again, another Karen oversteps her boundaries. Our story today was posted by Vivid Efficiency 7347 Entitled Workaway thinks she runs the house. I am currently dealing with the most entitled person I've ever had the displeasure to meet. For some context, I'm a 19-year-old female, a European, and the workaway is a 60s female from America. For those who don't know what a workaway is, the guest comes to your house and works a certain amount of hours in a day in return for free bed and food. I'll call the workaway Karen for ease. So I only met Karen yesterday. She has been staying in my house for around a week while I was abroad to look after my pets. My first experience was before I met her where I found out she had gone into my bedroom and changed the layout, moving my bed, desk, and sofa, as well as putting up a picture frame I did not want hanging on the wall. She also decided to rearrange my wardrobe, books, and makeup station. Karen also decided to put up some very religious paintings we had above doorways of the kitchen and living room. These paintings are hideous. The only religious member of my family, my mom, wanted to throw these away years ago type of hideous. Some conversation since I met Karen yesterday. Karen tried to tell me she isn't very religious, but I should listen to Christian rock music because listening to songs about God will make you happier. Karen tried to lecture me about having my room put back to the way it used to be within 10 minutes of meeting her since my reasoning of not wanting my desk to face my bed was not good enough and how I need to listen to someone with more life experience. Karen left open packets of meat and cheese, feta, which had liquid in the packet, in the fridge. The cheese liquid spilled everywhere and nearly got on all of the fresh vegetables. I don't eat meat for health reasons. Karen tried to tell me that cross-contamination wouldn't make me too ill and got angry when I put them in containers. Karen removed a puzzle I had been working on before the holiday for one that she wanted to do. She proceeded to tell me it was an awful puzzle. It was a gift. Karen tried to tell me why we don't own fly swatters. She thinks she knows my house better than I do. She refused to look at me once I had retrieved them. Karen told me I'm too negative. I won't be happy in later life and I'm not happy now and that I need to be more adventurous. At this point, I had only met her for three hours, and I am a very adventurous person. I just have a phobia of bugs. Karen interrupted a conversation I was having with my dad about medicine. Too long, didn't read. My doctor has forgotten they gave me a prescription to something. To advise me to take two ibuprofen and an hour later to take a third one. When I tried to tell her that that was ill-advised and dangerous, she said, Your dad loves you and doesn't want to see you in pain, and I'm only trying to help. It was clearly my fault for not taking medical advice from a non-medical professional. Karen tried to tell me I am lucky and blessed by God for having witnessed the death of a pet. Right next to my dad, who unfortunately missed her passing by 15 minutes. Right afterward, she told me it was disgusting to allow my dogs to lick me. And then she told me off for being worried about said dog. She is okay, but was acting very old yesterday. Karen interrupted a separate conversation where I was stating to my dad that we need to put up some mosquito and fly nets. When I walked upstairs to see where she was sitting, she immediately said, say please, multiple times. FYI, I was not rude in my conversation with my dad. And if this sentence had required a please, my dad would have let me know. I finally broke and told her off for insulting me in my own house. No apology from her, as expected. OP posted an update. Today, she left, and I cannot describe the relief I feel. Here are some extra events that happened since last time. Karen spent all day long doing a puzzle until I finally sat down to watch a movie with my dad. Karen then decided it was time to vacuum the living room that instant and would not take no for an answer. Karen continued not to wrap things in the fridge or even put them in their sections, which are in different rows, so I'm pretty sure raw chicken was lying on top of some fresh cheese. Karen did not clean up once when she was making food and ignored requests to not put the wooden utensils in the dishwasher. 
I kept finding spoons with pesto, jam, and garlic on the side. Karen did not know what headphones are. She would watch her TV without headphones in the hallway outside of my bedroom at the early hours of the morning, as well as in the kitchen. Karen got upset if I played anything without headphones since it disturbed the peace. At one point, I slipped down the stairs. Karen told me to get over it. Apparently, this incident made Karen even more sure I'm secretly a five-year-old in a 19-year-old body. Karen told me that, and this one was quite shocking. That Princess Diana's death was caused by Prince Charles. I've never met someone who didn't put the blame on the paparazzi. Is this a common belief in America? I overheard Dad and Karen calling me lazy yesterday. Their reason? Dad has volunteered me to cook dinner, stir fry, for Karen to try. I had already made a main meal, pasta dish, during lunch with enough leftovers for dinner. Apparently not doing something special for Karen's last night was evidence of laziness and not in actuality my dislike of her. I did not say goodbye to Karen. Now on to today, I was able to take down the horrific paintings I mentioned last time. Karen had stuck them to the wall. They will be going into the recycling as soon as possible. I'm 99% sure the house is messier than when Karen first arrived. No offense to people who like might do this to like earn extra money, like you gotta do what you gotta do, but I don't know how desperate I would have to be to like let anyone stay in my home because it's just a gamble. Like you never know who you're gonna get. And sometimes you're gonna get a person like this that you just like really regret ever you know, trying to be nice to. And I love how they're like, oh, it was messier, but then like, for whatever reason, she wants to like vacuum in the like worst possible time. Also just the fact of like, I don't know, like she like could have wanted to steal something. It's just such a risk. Like I would not be willing to take. And yeah, then she rearranges stuff. I, why didn't you kick her out right away? No, like you gotta know your limits. You don't just start rearranging stuff and putting things up that are not yours. Just, just odd. Don't, just don't do it anymore. That's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it. If you like what we do and want to support us, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can also become a donor on Anchor FM. See you next time. Bye.